I brought uh, the history of my uncle William Bomber, Bill Bomber, uh, who was uh, captured in uh, no, uh, flying over North Korea and part of China and uh, his B-29 was shot down and he spent two and a half years in a prison camp in China mm -hmm. uh, at the time it was called Peking, now it's Beijing and uh, he spent the majority of that time in solitary confinement and then my grandmother was instrumental in getting Dwight D. Eisenhower to get he and ten other people, prisoners, released mm -hmm. and uh, there's a ton of documentation that my mother kept uh, which I've shown you relative to the many times she got in touch with President Eisenhower and finally got the Red Chinese to release Uncle Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, uh, he joined the Army. At the time, uh, it was called the Army Air Corps, not the Air Force. Mm -hmm. He eventually became the Air Force, but he joined when it was the Army Air Corps. Uh, he became a pilot for B-17s. And uh, when World War II was over, he finished his enlistment and uh, got his degree at Bucknell University. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the Korean War broke out. And uh, he decided, uh, after several phone calls from the government, to go back because he was a trained pilot. And the new B-29 uh, was now going to be the super fortress to win the war in North Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, he became a pilot, uh, and it was his last mission. And uh, he was, uh, quote unquote, dropping leaflets it's really questionable yet as to what the B-29 was doing, mm -hmm. but the North Koreans shot it down, and Chinese North Koreans, mm -hmm. uh, same, same. And uh, he uh, was shot while on the plane, while he was the pilot or co-pilot, and uh, lost his leg because of the shrapnel and the bullets mm -hmm. that went through his leg. But while he was parachuting, he lost his gloves, and they were at a very high altitude, and he got frostbite. So. When he ended up in prison in solitary confinement, they amputated his leg and his fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, so then he came home and uh, became a school teacher uh, in Milton. In fact, he taught me algebra. <laughs> and uh, uh, he eventually then became a guidance counselor in, in the Warrior Run School District. Okay. And he passed away in 2004, I think at the ripe old age of 82, somewhere around there. Yeah. And this is a, uh, a uh, letter from George Bush. Mm -hmm. Uh, when he passed away, uh, President Bush uh, sent this letter to, to uh, my, my family, or his family, <laughs> the surviving sisters, and uh, saying that uh, he was a war hero and recognized him as such. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool for Milton, too. He's, it is. He was a great guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. He believed in Milton. Uh, he promoted Milton. He was born and raised here. Uh, he lived here the rest of his life, and uh, he, uh, he was kind of like my hero.